Hi there, it's Coach Karen Wilson here. We are coming to you from my garden because it's a pretty nice day. And this video is in response to um, a message that I got in my inbox on if I have a heart rate monitor and if I think they are worth the investment. Well, really it all depends on the individual. So it depends on your your goals and if you like the reasons why you want a heart rate monitor. I will tell you my experience with a heart rate monitor and uh, you know, my experience is probably different than other people's as well. So heart rate monitors in general, it are really good to help you stay in the zones that you're training for. So if you're brand new to exercising, um, one of the key elements uh, to know is sometimes we have a tendency to work out too hard. And when we work out too hard, um, our heart rate is too high and we not only risk injury, but we risk uh, burnout, like just like feeling as though we can't do it. And and that's, that's kind of a bad feeling. Um, heart rate monitors will keep you in the zone and help you feel like you are um, being more successful um, at your different types of workouts. We are not supposed to work out at 100% capacity every single workout. Um, so it's important to make sure that you stay in the zones specified for the workouts and heart rate monitors really help you cater that to you. There are some that count calories, but yeah, there's some apps that count calories. Um, the only reason why I have a heart rate monitor is because it came with my Garmin watch when I started running. And I thought, well, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this out. And the way it benefited me is that it keeps me um, it keeps me more disciplined when I'm running my aerobic style runs and the same thing can apply for an aerobic style workout and that means when you're in the, in, in the aerobic state so you're at about 60% of your heart max uh, you are actually burning fat so you're in the fat burning mode and you are also it's kind of like an active recovery so it's good for your body your body feels good doing it heart rate monitors help you cater your workouts specified to you but you can also use what is called the rate of uh, the Borg scale. It's a rate of perceived exertion, uh, meaning that you kind of use like one to ten on a, on a, a, a scale of one to ten how hard you're working. So in an in, in aerobic at the low end of your heart rate you want to be able to talk, you want to be able to sing, hold on to fabulous conversation, you're having a great old time, you could probably just keep on going for like ten hours, right? Because it's it's you know you're working but it you feel good the entire time you're never once feeling <laughs> right um, and long runs long slow distance runs when I'm training for a marathon are to be done at that heart rate the benefit of that is fat burning um, fat burning so I always have to discipline myself and say Karen you're fat burning because my instinct is to go faster so heart rate monitors are really good for you if you have the instinct to really push yourself really hard in every single workout because you, you know it takes discipline to back off and it also will help you stay away from injury or burnout Fair enough, right? It's also good to know your heart rate when you are going into more of an anaerobic state. So uh, we do this in running, in tempo runs, or sometimes what we call fartlek runs, where we take our heart rate a little, a little bit higher. So we're talking about like between, you know, somewhere in the range of 75 to 85 percent where you know like you could run faster if something jumped out at you like a bear you could run faster if you had to but you really shouldn't run faster um, you're comfortably uncomfortable but if someone said okay your workouts done now you'd be okay with that it's you you could still talk but you really don't want to uh, so that's a tempo range. So the benefits of that are actually building your aerobic capacity. And that's why fartlek runs are so nice because you can take that little spurt of aerobic and then you can take it down to the recovery. And a hill run will do that too on a really hilly run. It kind of takes you in and out and that's still burning fat. It's still pushing your aerobic zone, meaning that you will um, gain more endurance 
Um, so in, you know, this kind of scale works at any workout that you are doing. There's also the high end of your, um, your heart rate. And this is the end where you're really pushing yourself um, to really get aerobic gains and strength gains. So you're going at your maximum. These workouts should be very short. The, um, that's, it, you know, it's usually about 10 to 30 seconds for these types of intervals. And uh, basically as you get more fit, you'll be able to lengthen them to up a, to about a minute. Some people can go two minutes, but like the, we're talking like athletes here. You shouldn't do these types of workouts more than once, maybe twice per week. So a heart rate monitor will help you stay in those specific zones so that you are getting the best out of your program. You're getting the best out of your plan, but you can also learn how to tap into your body, the heart rate monitor on 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 your um, thing, on your device, matching how you feel in your body, um, it will help you lock into your internal feeling of your internal Borg scale. So really, it's completely up to you on um, if you want it or if you know if you don't want it. It is very important to make sure that you do listen to your body at every single workout. And of course, ask your doctor, ask around, get different opinions because everybody is going to give you a different one. My opinion would be if you're looking for something that's going to track your calories and and do everything for you, those new little Fitbits, that's what I would get. But right now, I'm just going on my body. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful to you. And if you have any questions, please email your questions to kwfitclub at gmail.com. In the, the um, title, just put question. <laughs> and I'll know it's for one of these videos. So thanks so much.